This car's not happy. The Volvo that swallowed the PCV valve 50,000 miles ago and damaged cylinder one valves. <clears throat> Finally, the misfire got significantly worse. It's not really drivable anymore. It shakes a lot, um, especially under low, low RPM. You're like, da, 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 da. It's, it's not good. So the only thing to do now is replace some exhaust valves. I took a look with the boroscope inside cylinder number one. One of the exhaust valves is just burnt right through. There's a chunk missing off of it. So pretty impressive that it went 50,000 miles with a damaged valve, but you know, this is kind of a expected outcome. So we're gonna rip this cylinder head off. I got two new OEM valves for cylinder number one, head gasket. Slap this thing together. why it was a long crank time. Let's pull in the shop, get to work. Peeling back the onion. Got some stuff out of the way. Airbox. So, game plan is to Unscrew the intake manifold, swing it out of the way. Exhaust manifold, swing it out of the way. Got to get this timing belt off. And on Volvos, they don't have separate camshaft caps. This whole valve cover is also the camshaft holder. So the whole thing comes off and then you can just swing the camshafts, get them out of the way, and get the cylinder head off. So the timing belt, I got it marked. We're at number one TDC and what do we see on our um, camera there's the there's the carnage so this one exhaust valve has seen better days its neighbor seems still to be okay yikes so that's the damaged valve and if you look at the intakes you know they're they're fine Obviously, they're all gunky because the cylinder has been running poorly for 50,000 miles. So we're just replacing this one and this one. <laughs> oh, it looks kind of nasty in there, huh? So let's get the belt off, manifolds and see how to get this camshaft cover off.
So we do have to take these sprockets off of the VVT actuators <clears throat> to um, make a little room here to get this huge valve cover off. So let's see if these are friendly. And I should uh, probably use a magnet to avoid dropping screws and then getting frustrated looking for them. So here's the Volvo factory procedure to remove this valve cover. You install these two special pullers and they press into the spark plug well trying to lift the cover and then you help it out with pliers at the corners. I might have to fabricate something like this at least one one unit to get it started. Once you get it started then no problem but right now it's glued all the way around and you don't want to break any aluminum by prying just at one corner and forcing it. So let me see what I can come up with. Alright so here's what I came up with. This is just a puller from my uh, slide hammer set. I got two bolts that are they're basically threaded all the way in. You want to use as much thread as possible and this thing is still floating and then I have a spark plug socket an extension and then the bolt will force will push on that and hopefully lift this whole thing up so I'm going to carefully preload it we don't want to you know have everything anything crooked here make sure that's centered And uh, preload it and then help it out with pliers and hopefully something will crack loose. Alright, so I'm just slightly preloading and you can hear snap, crackle, and pop. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Is it working? I'm not putting too much force on it yet. I think it just broke loose. There it is on that side. I'm gonna keep going a little bit. Maybe help it out with the magic pliers here. You see, definitely, there's definitely a gap here. Maybe a little. That's promising. We're getting somewhere. I don't want it crooked here. Well, yeah, the gap is right here. So we just have to help out this side. Stick a pry bar in here, maybe a little tap. So I got my puller on this side now. Nice. So that side came came off, no problem. Are we home free? It's still stuck right here. These might be dowels. One, two. That's my, that might be what's holding it in because they do have these pry points right next to the dowels. There's a dowel there, and there, and there. 
Ah, so close. Woo, got it. So what I did was I just hammered this side down. And look, that side came up. It needs to come up evenly. That's the whole key here. You see this dowel is still frozen. So what I want to do is help this thing out. Screw two bolts back in and back, just partially. Okay, and now, oh, it's closed. So this dowel is the only one that's stuck. Now I want to preload this side right here. Maybe I should put the screws over on this side. Let's put it over here. And then use the forcing screw so it'll try to work against these bolts and this should come up if I do things carefully. Now this is under tension. We can spray that dowel. I mean, it's so close. It wants to. <laughs> Maybe get a little punch, punch it from the bottom. So you can see the issue here. These dowels, they're metal, as in steel, and they rust, expand, and make it impossible to remove from the aluminum. So we're gonna give these things a little spray of the good stuff. Like I said, the only one that's stuck is this one. Boom, <laughs> sweet, we're done. Well, almost, at least this part. Let's get this off, get the camshafts out. Still gotta remove the intake manifold. And that requires a little bit of a little bit of work here. But that was pretty neat. Alright, let's take this puppy off. Once it breaks loose. Yeah, not much to it. Beautiful five cylinder. <laughs> That's awesome. So here's the intake cam. Here's the exhaust cam. Alright. And our head bolts are actually accessible without removing the cams, but since they're loose, we'll, we'll take them off. oil seals, I guess, stay on the camshafts here. Or should we get new oil seals? Yeah, maybe. I guess we'll see. Alright, just about ready to loosen up the head bolts. So intake manifold is away. Exhaust manifold, coolant pipe, this hose here, this little coolant pipe right here. I don't think there's anything else holding this head down. Let's get to it. This is where uh, we channel our inner I do cars. Let's start with... Never taken a Volvo apart before.
Well, here it is. Here's the prize. <laughs> that's a nice holding valve. So, that's probably how the PCV nugget escaped. Chipped the valve, and it was running for 50,000 miles before it got worse. Really impressive. You can see this surface is obviously chewed up versus these, nice and smooth. So. I guess we can just take it out and see this pistons all hammered but should run a lot better with a couple new valves <laughs> 